Good evening. You are welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the headlines. The defense headquarters speaks on combat vehicles destroyed by terrorists. Now the news in full. The defense headquarters has said that its mine, its mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, which were destroyed by terrorists in a viral video, were immobilized by troops after they were stuck in Zamfara State Forest. This was contained in a statement by the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, on Monday. Ba said that the troops of Operation Adarin Daji had on August 29, 2024, embarked on a fighting patrol to dislodge the terrorist gathering at Kwajabawa village in Zomi local government area of Zamfara state and engaged them en route the, lo the location. He said that two of the troops, MRAPs, got botched down due to the swampy terrain occasioned by rains during the fight while attempting to outflank the terrorists. According to him, white troops tried to extricate the MRAPs, the terrorists marched up, knowing the challenge troops had encountered with the vehicles. They had it. Subsequently, troops dismounted and demobilized the MRAPs when efforts to backload them were futile. The sad demobilization of the MRAP by troops was to prevent it from being useful to the terrorists after abandonment. These situations further illustrate the effect of weather in changing conditions for ground operations. Uba also clarified that another viral video propagated from the terrorist camp suggesting mass killing of alleged abducted villagers in Sokoto state was fake. According to him, the video depicted the killing of several civilians in a mass grave, saying the incident never took place in Nigeria but in a nearby African country faced with terrorism. Uba said the terrorists, in an act of desperation, tried to manipulate the situation to mislead gullible members of the public. The armed forces unequivocally states that at no time were 150 persons abducted in Gobern, Sokoto State. The rumored abduction was deliberately planted by the terrorists to undermine troops, winning efforts and cover up terrorist weaknesses. On the whole, the public is urged to be circumspect of the antics of the terrorists to propagate misinformation, disinformation and fake news as part of their war propaganda effort. These situations are not uncommon in war. The dynamic and ever-changing environment of war creates some of these experiences. Nevertheless, troops retain operational flexibility to make adjustments in achieving the strategic objective of winning the war. But I never know. I am 
That will be all on our news updates this evening. Join us for more stories on our channels, Flip TV, Flip TV Plus. My name is Victor Ajayi. Good evening. Thanks for listening.